Hey guys, Carell Cooper here with OnTheBlack.com. Today is Saturday, August 29th, 2009. Just wanted to give you guys an idea of some of the stories I'm reading this morning. Uh, first, over at Met's blog, Matt Cerrone talks about a new book that's going to be out called Too Good to Be True, where the author um, discusses how the Wilpons might be forced to sell the Mets by 2010 at the earliest uh, due to the uh, hit that they took in the Madoff scandal. Now, since uh, that story has come out, uh, Fred Wilpon has come out and, and has said that, you know, that's untrue, that uh, he's not going to be selling the Mets. And again, as I said earlier in the blog post earlier this week, <clears throat> you know, no one really knows how much money uh, Fred Wilpon lost in the whole Madoff situation uh, unless you have uh, intimate knowledge about his finances and about the Mets uh, finances as well. But again, you know, there are there are things that have happened over the course of the last year, um, which would lead you to believe that the Mets are going to be looking at uh, cutting their payroll for whatever reason. You know, again, you talk about not picking up uh, a big bat in the offseason, uh, you know, not p uh, adding any payroll at the trade deadline. For example, Victor Martinez was out there and he would have been a perfect fit for the Mets. You know, you talk about, um, you know, the trade uh, for Willie Billy Wagner, which looks like just a, a pure salary dump and only getting back a couple prospects. So there have been things that have happened here over the course of the season that really looks like the Mets are going to be uh, trimming their payroll. Now, only time will tell to see if they do so, but it'll be an interesting story to track over the offseason. TMZ is reporting that DJ AM passed away yesterday, unfortunately, due to a painkiller overdose. Now, the guy just recently survived a plane crash. Uh, you know, the reason why I'm bringing this up is because his last public appearance was where? Guess what? City Field. And so, you know, for us uh, superstitious Mets fans out there, you know, thinking that our team has been snake bitten this year with all the injuries, obviously the Mets had nothing to do with DJ AM's death, but, uh, you know, for his last public appearance uh, to be at City Field, this is just like, you know, uh, just piling on uh, the Mets' painful season this year. Over at Mets today, uh, Joe talks about uh, how the Yankees blocked Chris Carter uh, from uh, going to the Mets as the, as the Red Sox put him uh, through waivers as part of the trade for Billy Wagner. And Joe talks about how, you know, you shouldn't blame the Yankees for, for doing this. You shouldn't, obviously, you shouldn't blame the Mets. Who you should blame for this is the Red Sox because, you know, as a standard practice, you should be putting through uh, a number of players through waivers uh, about a month ago. And I, and I kind of agree with Joe here. You know, for some reason, the Red Sox never put uh, Chris Carter through waivers. Uh, they tried to now, and it was a smart move by the Yankees to kind of block this because now it forces the Red Sox to keep him on their 40-man roster, and really he's just going to be idle on that roster, so he'll be taking up a spot. So, uh, you know, as a Mets fan, it would have been nice to see Carter uh, with the Mets here the last month of the season just to get an idea of who he is and what he can do uh, so we can talk about him during the offseason and, and see how he fits into the plans for next year. But now we'll have to wait till spring training to get uh, a good look at Carter. But good move by the Yankees, bad move by the Red Sox. And last but not least, I'm going to leave you guys with uh, this chart of Bobby Parnell's stats so far this year as a starting pitcher. As I, as I said to you guys uh, weeks ago, I'm going to be tracking each of Parnell's starts uh, throughout the rest of the season because I'm interested to see how he does and if he can fit into the plans uh, for the Mets rotation for next year. Uh, his last start was not a good one. It was against the Phillies, five innings, five earned runs. You know, his best start so far continues to be the one against the Giants. Uh, and that's sort of unfortunate because the Giants, out of all the teams that um, Parnell has faced so far, the Giants have the worst offense. So it's not really a good gauge to use. He'll be pitching today against the Cubs, and it'll be important to see how he comes back, if he can help the Mets bounce back from that devastating loss that they had yesterday, uh, you know, with Soriano hitting that home run. Uh, so interesting to see how Parnell does today uh, in his start against the Cubs. Uh, let me know what you guys think, and I'll talk to you soon.